Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to this week's episode of Ask Coach Marie. I'm Marie O'Neill, founder of Padma Life Coaching and your host on this series. This is the place where you ask a question and I give my unique opinion as a life renewal coach, astrologer, and past life regression facilitator. Please know once again that I am not a therapist and I will never tell you what you must do. Each week on Friday, a new video is released with me answering two questions from the viewers. I also talk about various other life renewal topics. Let's go ahead and get started with the questions from this week. The first question comes from Hannah, who is in Forks, Washington. Hannah writes, can astrology help me figure out the best place for me to live? Thank you, Hannah, for that question. And yes, astrology can help you with this. Typically, what we do as astrologers when we're working with a client to figure out where to move, we look at their chart to look at the signs and the planets that they have and how strong those planets are in the chart. Are they well aspected with other planets in the chart? And when I say aspected, I'm looking at the relationship between the planets in the sky and also in the chart. When you are looking to move to a new area, you may be looking to move to an area that highlights your sun, for example, or highlight your Jupiter. And Jupiter is, of course, about expansion. The sun is about your ego, your your vitality, your will, your force. It's your drive uh, to get things done in addition to Mars. Now, when we are looking at these planets, we're looking for places that may highlight those areas, but only if those signs are strong in your chart. For example, if your sun is not strong, if it is not in good rapport with other planets in your chart, then we may recommend that you not move to, quote, a sun line, because each area of the world, as a matter of fact, will highlight a particular area for you. You can move to a sun line, a Jupiter line, a Saturn line. It's all of the planets basically represented around the world uh, based on your chart. So yes, we can help you with that. Please know, however, that it is still best for you to not only follow your instincts and your intuition, but also know what it is you're looking for. Are you looking for more structure in your life? Are you looking for more drive and vitality? Are you looking for more love in your life? What is it you're looking for? Because that is also going to determine where you live. I hope that answers your questions. Please send me an email and let me know where you decided to move to or if you consulted an astrologer to help you figure out where to move to. Let's move on to the topic of discussion for today. The topic is goddess emanations. The reason that I am talking about goddess emanations because there are a lot, a plethora of goddesses out here. If you are familiar at all with the Eastern tradition, then you know that there are many goddesses that are worshipped in the Eastern tradition. And here in the West, we also have many goddesses available to us. Why are there so many? Well, they represent different aspects or different attributes of the Great Mother Goddess. And the Great Mother Goddess is the energy that is pregnant with everything, even the emanations of you, 
and the people you love, the emanations of anything that is created. The great mother goddess is pregnant with all of this. Now, she has, of course, different aspects. So when you are incarnated, or I should say you're watching this video, so you have the attributes of all of the different goddesses within you. If there is a particular attribute that you want to enhance or work on, then there is a goddess in each culture who has those attributes and can help you with that. This is one of the main reasons that we have so many goddesses. I am in the process of preparing myself to write a book on the goddesses, or at least some of the goddesses that have been actually dormant for a while in our culture, and also some of the goddesses that are in the Eastern tradition and talking about their attributes and how you can work with them. But when you are working with a goddess, or God for that matter, or the angels, you are actually working with yourself, with that part of you that needs to be enhanced or or worked on or worked with. So that's what I wanted to say about this. I will revisit this topic in future videos because there is a lot to know about the different goddesses. By the way, if you have a favorite goddess or one that you work with, let me know. Put the information below in the comments area to let me know. So let's go ahead and get going with the second question for today. The second question comes from Paula, who is in Moab, Utah. Paula says, I've been wondering how people know that they have past lives. Can you offer any insight on this subject? Thank you, Paula, for that question. And of course, each individual is going to get that information in a way that is unique to them. Some people actually have no idea that they've had past lives. They don't have any indication of that at all. There's a few ways you can learn about your past lives, though. You can do a past life regression with someone who is a past life regression facilitator. Uh, sometimes, though, you can have a dream about, a, about yourself in a prior incarnation. And usually when you have a dream or when you get an intuitive download or hit, when we are accessing prior lives, our higher mind will only allow us to access lives that are pertinent for something that we're working through or in giving us information that we need to have to help us evolve. You, however, don't have to worry about your prior lives if you don't have any information on them or if you've never had an insight about your prior lives, that's okay. It may be that you don't need that information. I have worked with people who have wanted to do prior life regressions for certain information, and they've actually been taken to different lifetimes to give them different information based on what it is they need at that particular time. So as far as knowing if you've had past lives, you can not worry about that because it may not be something that you need to know at this time. And believe me, when you need to know about a prior life, you will be given that information. Like I said, either in a dream or a memory or some particular way, a way that will work specifically for you. All right, we have come to the end of the questions for this week. If you would like to send me a question, please send it to PadmaCoach at iCloud.com. 
If you'd like to learn more about me, you're welcome to peruse my website, PadmaLifeCoaching.com. You can also read my book and The Lotus Upland, a memoir, which can be found on any of the online bookstores. I look forward to seeing you here next week. And please be sure to like and subscribe to the video and click that little bell there so that you're notified when new videos are released. See you next week. Bye-bye.